what is your morning routine like, sir? What is, what is your morning routine like? What are the top four things you do daily that assures your success in life? First thing I do when I wake up, and I and my wife have the morning devotion, I have a way of sliding to sit up. I have cards by my bed. I write out what I want to do for the day. Usually, in writing those things, I write things that have to do with my long-term vision. I write things that have to do with my short-term vision. And I write things that have to do with daily life. I feel that whatever I want to achieve in 10 years' time, I need to be doing something now that is part of it. So the first thing I do uh, is have devotion with my wife. Second thing is, nowadays I no longer use those cards. They used to be by my bed. I now use a notebook in my phone. And I also use uh, another, I, another app called Pencil, which is an, a journal. I use it, but I don't use the journal for writing what I will do. I use the notebook. I write the things I will do for the day. It has to do with my vision, which he talked about. So that it's not like I'm thinking that it is when I get too close to the vision that I'll begin to make it happen. Whatever I'm doing now has to do with that vision. Some of the calls I'm making have to do with my spiritual vision, my ministry vision, my business vision. The next thing I do, which many pastors don't do, is I go to golf. The moment I finish all that planning, I go to golf. Uh, from the last time I was, I was here, I've lost 17 kilograms. Uh, I, I went into intense weight loss. I play golf. Then after that, I now go to the office. From Monday or Tuesday, I start writing my notes some of the things I will share on Sunday. It takes 20 hours to prepare a good message that will feed the people because you have to search, you have to put things together. I live a quadrant life. Every message I preach is part of a future book. So I have written 107 books. What I taught today is going to be a chapter in a book in the future. Every message I preach is intended. So my notes are not regular. Uh, my notes are not four pages. They come from 15 to 40 pages. And, but then I've been trained so that you wouldn't know when I'm looking at it or when I'm flicking. So I start in the morning with devotion. I go on to write my vision. My vision has to do with the future and handling something in the present. Uh, part of some of those days also is reading. It is a duty. I must read two books a week. It is mandatory. I must read 100 books a year. Two books a week. 100 books a year. It is mandatory. So what I now do is every week I'm buying a new book and downloading it. Instead of paper books, I'm downloading just, in fact, sometimes I download three, four weeks books in one day. Once I saw the books I want, I download them. So I read two books a week. I had to learn speed reading. I can read, um, let us say, 150 pages in two hours and retain 95%. I had to spend about three or four hundred dollars to train in speed reading because I just had about 10,000 books, but they were not being read. And he was decorating my office, and everybody was, ah, pastor, you get a book, oh. <laughs> I was not reading them. And for my chosen field, because I speak around the world, I need to be current, because being current is the currency of life. So I read two books. One week is not like the other, but the basic essentials are what I just shared. Thank you very much, sir.